which mode it is. Varma, island all by itself, somewhere in the middle of the ocean, halfway between China and the uh, Saint Crossing. I've spent uh, two days here now, maybe three. If I'm going to go exploring a little bit more, perhaps tomorrow I will return to uh, the crossing. But today, uh, yeah. Okay. Hola, Nihao. I'm just going to get a little cataman here. I hope you don't mind. Yeah, $75 for a cataman. Let's see. But when in Guarma, why not? Uh, get a cataman, because I don't want to lose my uh, navies. Or my rifle. It's very easy here to have little mishap. Watermark something revolver. Except for oh my hair, ah yeah. How could I forget to do my hair? There we go. Have we got oil? Yeah, a little bit. Shovel. A metal detector, they have a uh, pickaxe. Okay, let's see. Um, I think we should travel up this way first. Yesterday, late last night, I met a man who goes by the name of Vasquez. But he also go by the name El Capitan. He is a two men in one, and he is ruler here on Guarma. He tell me he started, um, he was a shipwrecked here, and a man, a madman, who used to control this island, named El Comandant, the Commandant. Uh, he captured him and thought he was a spy. And so he tortured this man for many years before he was able to uh, make his escape when uh, some locals uh, decided to attack. After this, when we look at this town, this is what is left. We say he used the dynamite to to destroy almost every single building in the town in search of this commandant. Eventually, he was able to kill him. All that remain is skeleton of the old uh, brick building, stone building. This man as Vasquez. I think he's a good man who can uh, you can talk to, negotiate with, and perhaps there might even be a way to do the business with him. But when the El Capitan needs to come out, well, this might be quite a different story. Last night I meet Vasquez. El Capitan was sleeping, he said. Very interesting.
water. This is the only source of fresh water here. Vasquez, he also see. He does not like people to be riding his donkey. In my first day here, I did find one treasure chest. There must be others. Nothing much was inside this chest, but... There has to be other. Snake.
Was it? Little crab.
already checked down there. Like very dangerous uh, terrain. Run the to sleep. Uh oh, bye bye, call.
Ça va aller haut. Looking for a needle in the haystack. This is the bond place, okay. Yes, I have been by here. Does it mean I miss something though? Because last night he said to me that there is a panther here on the island. Snakes here are much different than in the Saints Crossing. They give you no warning, very little warning, some no warning. Just wait in a little bush, you walk by, it hit you. Good thing I got the good leather boots on though.
I want to say that the treasure chests are usually like in clearings. Like they don't put them right in the middle of a bunch of bushes or something, from what I know. What if they have a Mauser here somewhere? Oh, Tina. Let's see, Porter. It's a medical clinic, I think. We've already been down there. Let's see, fighting ring. These were Vasquez leave and El Capitan. Who are the same person. I'm going to go ahead and write up a business plan for Vasquez while I'm up here. There's a notebook here. can write it down and then uh, tear it out. Go down, put it on his desk. able to do business with the militia here. This will be a great thing to do. Yeah, anyone home? I'm just going to borrow this notebook for a few minutes, that's all. Don't worry, anyone watching. It will be fine. It's up here. Oh, very nice. First,
Let's see. Um, Yeah, why not? <laughs> Alright, so the crossing doesn't have rum, and there are really not many weapons here in Guarama. So the problem is logistics. Getting goods to and from with the. Oh, shit, is a panther here? I think I heard the panther. Hello, anyhow, is someone here? Oh, you're snoring. <clears throat> I'm up here on the uh, little balcony. Is that the good doctor? Okay, stop scaring me with this panther noise. I don't like cats, you know. I might, I might have to shoot first to ask a question later. Well, a good thing panthers can't climb ladders. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. What are you doing up there? Uh, who's that? Is that Mitsuhide? Why did you call me? Uh... Mitsuhide, did you forget who I am? Uh, I don't know, you just sound... What? What the fuck? You were not in China. I have returned. You have returned? <laughs> You smell funny, what's wrong? Uh, what do you mean? What do I smell like? Did you shoot somebody? Did I shoot somebody? No. We said they know. For hunting. No. Didn't expect you to be seen ever again. Why? I don't know, you left? Yeah, I left to take care of some business. Also to settle some issues I was dealing with. Settle issues. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, yep. But I went back to take care of some business for Taipan. That's the biggest reason. 
Port Taipan. Yes. Mm. What have you been up to? I don't know. Been here, waiting for Kaifeng. Who is this uh, Kaifeng? I hear that he is bringing weapons into Guarma. I hear. Possibly. Weapon distributor. Oh, that is a smart move. There are not many weapons here, that's for sure. Yes. But also not the big st uh, warehouses like in uh, Saint Denis. Uh, yes, of course. I fear that the uh, logistics uh, back and forth, this is the biggest issue in business uh, between Guarma and the Saint Crossing. Indeed. In fact, I'm uh, just in the middle of writing up a proposal uh, to the Guarma number one. Vasquez and El Capitan. Ah, uh, Mr. Hendricks. No. No. Who is El Capitan? He is the commander uh, of this entire island. And so is Vasquez. They are one and the same person. I see. And sometimes he goes by his real name, Vasquez. This man is uh, good to deal with, decent uh, to negotiate with, to sit down and have a smoke and uh, tell stories. But if people bring him troubles, El Capitan comes up. That is the man who destroyed the entire town with dynamite. Looking for the uh, former leader of this island. He was called the Commandant. The Commandant, I understand. And you came back and now everything is fine between you and Mr. Zhang Wei? Uh, not sure yet. I have met with some of Taipan. And mm. we had a very long talk. And yeah, we will be uh, meeting, I will be meeting with the Zhang Wei pretty soon. I'm not sure exactly when, but uh, we shall see. I see. I do not uh, longer waste my time with Taipan. For some time now. Why is this? The man who hugs you, but uh, has a knife behind your back, behind his back, is uh, difficult to deal with. While you were around uh, Kochinga, I did not care. We had us. But uh, when you were gone, everything turned uh, downhill. There was uh, a dark time where demons haunted me in my sleep. I gave in to the drugs and uh, went out and uh, fed a doctor to bears, killed two others. Holy shit. Why? Yeah, yeah. It's a. Uh, you know the opium deal with the, with the doctors? They never. Oh, uh, yes. They never intended to buy my product. They always uh, intended to uh, leave me on forever until I give up on my own, so they can say, no, 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 we do, we do. But he didn't want. I snapped. I found a girl, she was uh, first first day in a medical office, took her into two tall trees, handcuffed her and made her walk the trial of bears. So she walked, then she got eaten by a bear. And then in Blackwater, another doctor shot her, shot Mr. Moon. Mr. Moon of the uh, um, little shop in the marketplace. This one. Uh, Mr. Moon, uh, he has uh, the small, uh, like, uh, uh, supernatural investigations. Uh, yes, 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 same one. He used to run the pawn shop in uh, Saint Denis. I guess yeah. he does not do this any longer. It's a. Uh, no. Yes, Klaus. Uh, Mr. Mr. Moon uh, was a. Uh, um, how do I say? Uh, 
He was upset. But it's okay now, I guess. He knows better. Why? Okay, so you do this because the doctors uh, lied to you. Is this correct? That is correct. Well, I did not uh, intentionally hurt them. It happened as an accident afterwards. And one thing led to another. Mr. Moon surprised me with a gun. And I shot them all in the room. Indiscriminately. I don't know, Cole. Oh, that's a, a long series of events. Yes. For now, I stay here. Are you at the run? To America. Um, not really. Not really. I am not on the run. I am in a limbo. I am captured in the void. I don't know back. I don't know forward. Well, this is all... Uh... Of course, uh, your issues. I, return. I no longer wish to run the Emporium, no matter how I return mm. to the crossing. I will be doing something different. Sure. But uh, I have a question for you. Uh, yes. You remember the day, um, not long after I was hurt, you gave me something. A black lotus. Uh, Insignia and a piece of cloth. That is true. Why? Um. <laughs> one way told me to give it to you. Uh, this leads me to a second question. And did you. Um, how do I say this? What happened between you and the Black Lotus? Um, they caught me while I was injured in the woods, and I had a talk with uh, Mr. Wang Wei. And Mr. Wang Wei uh, and I had uh, many conversations. I went uh, deep into the hole of the rabbit, and uh, I took part. Let's uh, say this, and. Uh, kind of uh, burned myself for the sake of Taipan. I softened Mr. Wang Wei till he no longer did what was so successful and agreed to end battle. An open battle. Where he no longer, longer has the, the benefits of surprise. He could do this forever until everybody from Taipan is dead. He could just wait into a, in an alleyway and just stab them one by one. You alone... Let, let alone the others, but you, you always walk alone. You never take, uh, uh, you never care about anything that comes to your way. They would have exploited it and killed you. And they almost did. And Zhang Wei would uh, feed us uh, to them until nobody's left. And Mr. Zhang Wei would uh, simply acquire new, uh, new associates. Because, uh, we are not humans to him. We are items, tools, useful, and upon failure of uh, being useful, getting rid of and disposed of. Did I ever tell you the story of how the White Lotus began here in the Saints Crossing? You told me just uh, just some facts, but not a story, no. I have been white since I was very young. Almost uh, at the time I became, I was told to the military. Eight years old, shortly after this, I don't know exactly what age I was. That is when I was invited to join the White Lotus, and I was given a mission to kill a viceroy in the city of Tianjin. Corrupt man, healthy, rich. He offered me money, he offered me everything, but I slit his throat. 
and was accepted in this is the way that we were initiated long ago. Now I guess in these modern times uh, people have grown soft when we do initiation. It's uh, quite a big different story now. Painful, bloody, but uh, not so necessary. The point of me telling you this is that uh, I was basically born into the white and I will always remain in the white. It is my home. Yes. There is no other option for me. Even with this agreement. Me and Bailey. It was the first me. I recruited Bailey. Brought him over here. We sought out a leader for the White Lotus in the Saints Crossing. Someone who was not like myself or like Bailey. We are both bloodthirsty tyrants if we were to rule. If we were to be leader, we would be no different than the Yeehaw Gang. We would be riding around, causing terror, making war, robbing banks, whatever have you. We needed someone who could uh, outlive all of these uh, other petty gangs, including cattlemen. We needed someone who was different who would uh, make decisions that, of course, I would disagree with from time to time. And disagree with, I did. One could argue that day in the courtyard at the gun shop when he accused me of being disloyal, of being having my motives, questioning my motives, make me lose face, I in turn make him lose a face. This was a mistake on my part, but anger got the better of me. My point is, no matter what the Zhang Wei do or say, we appointed him for a reason. So that the White Lotus in the Saints Crossing could live forever, some years. Not to burn out like a candle quick and uh, not leaving a mark but a pile of wax on the table just like this candle right here I don't agree with these decisions uh, quite often but usually I comply with this in there are some decisions that I still have a problem with but as he as appointed leader who accepted the role, well, I will turn, I will hand myself over to him for whatever punishment he seems necessary. And for you though, I have a, another question. Did you betray the White Lotus? No, why? That's what they say. That's what they say. By what? That you betrayed the White Lotus. That you betrayed Taipan to the Black. No. That you are secretly working with the Black. Yes, that indeed. But it was uh, for the benefit of them. As it turned out, as I said you, uh, to you in the beginning, what I did with Mr. Wang Wei is... Uh, I softened his core I was digging deep into his intestines like a fucking infestation rotting in from the inside and blurring his mind meeting oh. with murderers and cold-blooded killers which were which were I don't know and he had a reason to do what he do for himself of course objectively from the point of view of an outsider it doesn't make any sense. Mr. Wang Lun was a fucking idiot. Uh, I, whoever have mercy on his soul. But it's... Uh, I went there with the best intentions. And they never talked to me about uh, uh, betrayal or something in this uh, regard. Because they know that it's not true. 
Mr. Zhang Wei um, accused me of going after the Lao Bai Xie. Which was uh, more or less an accident and after that uh, in self-defense. Uh, Mr. McMuffin, that fat fuck. That was a lady. She served tea. And she did well. She uh, was just standing there. Just a random Chinese old lady in her 70s from Annisburg. And while Mr. Zhang Wei and Mr. Wang Wei were sitting there on a rock negotiating terms of battle, she was serving tea. After the battle was done, Taipan lost. To be honest. Taipan, we, yes. all, we all have eaten dirt, much of it. Three of the Black Lotus got away. And three died. Yeah. Or more or less uh, had no no will to live anymore. So the tea lady, they patched them all up. She tried to lessen the blood flow from the injuries from Mr. Zhang Wei. After he was in the shit, he was from his heels to his neck in a pile of fucking dirt. Left there to rot. And she helped him. And what was the thank you? Mr. McMuffin cut her throat and said good riddance. Yeah. By order of Mr. Zhang Wei or Mr. Zhang Wei tolerated it. It does not it doesn't make any matter. It doesn't make any difference to me. But they accused me of going after the Lao Bai Xing. After they so indifferently just murder an old lady who cannot help herself. Help others before. And that was the moment where I decided I don't want to be part of it. I don't mean I don't have any ill will towards Taipan or the White Lotus. Yes, I had a few escapades with uh, drugs and uh, doctors, but it's a personal matter. Who else uh, knows about this uh, old lady? Um, the law. The law knows. Of course, the law knows. They know, don't know any details, but they know where to find her. Uh, she survived. Yes, she did. Yes, she did, but she can barely speak anymore. Who told the law? I don't know. But the law was investigating the site afterwards. But they did not fi find uh, Wang Wei's body. Wang Wei was uh, buried uh, nearby in a place where he told me he wants to be buried. On a grave without a name. Uh, yeah. This is it. Sounded like a big mess. Yes, it was. Well, uh, maybe I did Still not always is. do the right things. In the, but... Uh, I did never have uh, any wrong intentions. Well, it sounds like to me that you still, you have a hate for this uh, Zhang Wei. I don't care about Zhang Wei. He's just another stone. I step over on my way. On your way to what? That is what I need to find out. I cannot go forward, I cannot go backwards. I'm in a limbo. I am captured in the void. I don't see any chance. I don't know, I feel like thousand years old or only a year, a year old. I've seen so many things, but also I don't know nothing. It's a plague. Uh. Yes. But also, the whole Taipan thing is, uh, I don't know, it's a... Uh, I had good intentions, I did what I could to save Ko. I didn't give a fuck about Zhang Wei, to be honest. <laughs> so 
sorry I speak of you in the third person as if you know what the I still no, can't believe that I'm standing right next to you. It's been a while since uh, we have seen each other. Yes, I do. I, well, I did. Uh, I did make good uh, things. Uh, I do have uh, a bias in sellers of opium, though, and uh, morphine. Pretty much morphine. It's uh, it's okay. Helped me a lot. I, I am having difficulty. Of course you have. In the old days, Mitsuhide. A person like you who knows this much would be taken to a cliff like this and thrown over. Yes. This information that you have is a damning. Whether or not the law knows or cares, well, that's a different matter. They need proof. But for this information you have, you could destroy in Taipan, you could destroy Zhang Wei. I could, yes, indeed. Follow me. We'll see. Ah, and you will need this one. <laughs> so long journey it was, huh? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it was a long journey and the American captain of the ship, he dropped me off here. I did not even know where this was, and he forbade me from getting on the ship again. Kuba. Kuba, Kuba. The good Kuba. Well. Why, why do you give me these things? I want to show you something. This, yes. this was given to you yes well more or less yes this is a mark of a great honor to hold one of these plates just like it is for the white to hold the white, yellow, yellow, etc, etc. Yes. There's something that uh, the Brak Rotes always uh, stresses very much. You cannot be led by personal feelings because it will be a downfall. This is how Wang Wei died. This is how many of his men died. There are the Black Lotus, from what I know. They operate much like uh, the Sheriff's Department. How do you know they were not just using you? 
You think perhaps you changed his mind or softened his heart or whatever. Why would you change a running system? Why would you change your ways from effective to not so effective suddenly? He, they had the upper hand, call. They maimed in the... And the, they, they hurt everybody. It was only Zhang Wei left. With you back to China, by Li in a coma, some weird McMuffin, and the who, what? Liddy? Throwing ni fucking forks in the, in the stakes at them? They would fucking laugh about that. This weird holy woman, she was sometimes around. But Jack Wei was very vulnerable, and he would not have survived if it was not for me. But this one way had one uh, weakness. It was me. So I do have one weakness. It is you. Ready your knife. As you said, if not, I might destroy everything you were born and raised for. And everything Mr. Zhang Wei achieved over the so many years and times. All the blood you have shed for Mr. Kettleman. All the blood you have lost. This is my problem. It's a headache for me. Yes. How can you, what guarantee can you give me? This information that you have will not uh, go any further. This is a very difficult uh, thing to keep a secret. Yes. Especially, especially if you are harboring ill will or hatred. There was a time I almost came to challenge Zhang Wei to a duel. But I chose to return to China to, at the very least, to do one last thing to help them clear their name, which I did. With this, uh, grant me my life. In the end, I do not know. We will never find out, Cole. But it is time. So are you doing this on behalf of yourself? On behalf of the Black Lotus? You may never know. The sad thing is, is that I do not have it is such a blade as yours. His advantages happen. Good, 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 good. Okay. Better? Yeah. A little smaller. You wish to do this, are you sure? Of course. Sayonara, oji -san. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Why do you force my hand? Mitsuri Day. Day.
Da quando le schifate. Ja. Das ist passend und eicher. Since the battle in the Civil War finished. Why are you in a hurry to die? This void you speak of. I know what this is like. Woody. This is the way it had to be though. It's easy, it's good a place to rest that I know of. You can overlook the, the ocean that leads to your home, Mitsuhide, and mine. Perhaps your spirit can travel back and be at peace. You were a 2D, also like little brother to me. You gave me no choice. And I know the honor and the respect that you show me this day. One way or another, this had to be. And personally, I'm glad that uh, you took the initiative to face it like a man. A man of the black. It's actually make me a little bit proud. Although I am white, I do have great respect for what the black does. I'm going to bury you here, Mitsuhide. I'm going to leave a carve some words into the stone behind you. Ilu Shunfang Mitsuhide Nagaham Ilu Shunfang
Mitsuhide Nagahama. Whatever was troubling you, let it trouble you no more. You have paid the ultimate price. And you fought with honor. Zaijin. I need a smoke. <coughs> Fuck. So he did played by Shiro. Huge kudos out to him. That was a, an amazing scene and it kind of had to happen. I think he could have talked Ko out of it though, because Ko had a soft spot for him. I kind of planned on hunting him down to see if I could find him uh, and, and kill him, but. Uh, that took me completely by surprise.
anyone watching um, the uh, Mitsuki Days played by um, 893 Shiro. I wish somebody was here who could put this link into my. Let me see if I can find it. Alright, this is Shiro's uh, Twitch. Please give him a follow. Big round of applause for him. What a story. What a fucking story. From Wang Lun to the Black Lotus to Mitsu's possible betrayal slash assistance to Ko's deal to Taipan winning over the Black Lotus even though it was almost not a win to today one day I'm going to stream the Black Lotus videos if I get enough people saying they would like to see it. It's such a fascinating story. Smooch. I appreciate the follow. Uh, Ko just uh, killed a good friend of his. Oh. Yeah, it's a very long, complicated story. Goes back months. It was his uh, Tudi, which in Chinese means um, his uh, pupil, who he raised up above all the other pupils. But after Ko was hurt very badly by a, a in-house group called the Black Lotus, uh, Mitsuhide kind of switched sides in a way, and became a member of the Black Lotus. Ko is a member of the White Lotus. And uh, he knew too much. He had too much information. He uh, knew that Zhang Wei ordered the hit on an old grandma. And uh, when Ko heard that, he knew he had to stop him. But of course he was torn. Yeah, it does feel bad. But such a... Uh, Powerful scene with him, though. Shout out once again to 893 Shiro. So Ko buried him here at this little cemetery, carved his name in the stone, burned four incense sticks, which four is a symbol of, uh, is a number for death in China, because uh, in Chinese, means death. And S is uh, number four. 
So if you ever see four incense sticks burning somewhere, that means um, someone's dead or there's death in in the area. This is Mitsuhi. This is a oh. Before Mitsuhide, Shiro played a guy named uh, Yahiko. And this is a um, Yahiko song. Which almost fuck. Yaiko also died. Not, uh, not. Well, he had a bullet in his gut and it got infected. Uh, sometimes music really gets me. So if you have if you have questions, please please ask because um, it's a really complicated story, and uh, one day I would love to be able to stream all the videos I made of it. It was before I was streaming. I was a I was making videos on YouTube, and uh, ah, Mitsu. Uh, who who were you the other day? Were you um, a Todd? Oh yeah, you're awesome, man. I, I I know I bumped into you. I don't know if it was on that character or another one, but your voice sounded really familiar. And I'm pretty sure I bumped into you on one character or another. Uh, yeah, your character's so much fun. Love your attention to detail. Uh, right here in front of Doctor's office, too. Maybe I was faster. I could have saved him. Fuck. This is not a good feeling. The rainbow. He was just uh, too tired. I guess he had been through the shit. Confused, like he say, he was in a void. I know this feeling. But life is so much better. One minute a man is full of a dream, action, love, hate. The next, nothing, nothing in the dirt. So 
so strange, this circle of life. From baby to man or woman. The joys, the pain, everything all ending is so sudden. I just wish when it is my time that someone bury me with as much honor as I deserve, which isn't much. <laughs> okay, yeah. Kind data. Watch over him. Buddha, please. Let him find the peace. For in life as a, a light, uh, I think he found none. I think he wanted to die. He wanted it to end. Right. Gonna be awkward. Yeah, a little bit. Not too bad though. That looks okay. Thank you, Schmooge. Yeah, Ko is ruled a little bit more by the heart than he is by the brain. He's made decisions that uh, might affect him pretty harshly soon. We shall see. Maybe tomorrow. strange for him because this is a man who was sold by his parents into the army because they were too dirt, dirt poor when he was very young, eight years old, which was common actually in China in these days. And, uh, but this army wasn't like your normal army. It would have been more like a rebel army. So he's a, he's a rebel in his core. And, uh, that's what's gotten him into trouble. He's fought in many rebellions. He uh, when on, before he came back from China this trip, I'm um, RPing that he met a man named Sun Yat Sun, who at first he kind of laughed at him, but then his ideas started to grow a little bit. Sun Yat Sun is a real life, uh, basically father of the uh, Communist Party in China, but it was more socialist. It wasn't so much communist. And he started in the 1880s or 70s, I think, trying to create rebellions in China. And his goal was to free the Lao Bai Xing, the common people, and give land away to all of them. Uh, in which to Ko was just a, just a, such a strange idea. But the more he thinks about it, the more it's, uh, he, he thinks this guy's ideas make sense. Ah, uh, okay. Well... Let me try and finish this. Uh, it's useless right now, but uh, let me try. This is what he was working on right before Mitsuhide came up.
What else is here in Gorma? Uh, yeah, this is in the doctor's book. I don't have a book. I don't have a notebook. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to tear it out and then uh, maybe buy him a new one or something at some point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't have a... I, didn't, I forgot to get a book, so I... Uh, um, yeah, I'm, I'm borrowing his book. I'm borrowing one page. I don't know if this is a good contract or not. Oh shoot, I'm running out of space, dang it. Dang it, no, stop it. Okay, just shorten this down. Okay. To Senor Vasquez, commander of Guarma. Hey, Shmoo, did you know that? Well, oh, this is uh, maybe I shouldn't tell you. Have you met Vasquez? Thank you, Shmooj. Yeah, no problem. Stop back in whenever you can. Appreciate the follow. Bring goods, Saints Crossing, to be supplied by Guarma. Bring goods to Saint Crossing. Only by. Bring goods from Saints Crossing to Guarma. Dang it.
no, 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 no. I think there's two saints crossing from Gorma. Bring dudes from Saints Crossing to Guarma for militia needs as per price negotiating both parties. I find reasons by gems at more than at least is be sold to militia be negotiated. Price is more than fair. Tag these are only a and their reps. Yeah, I don't like this at all. All right, simple. You see what he does.
Wait one second, guys. Oh, look at that sunset. No. Probably one of the coolest scenes that I've been through is when um, my character Wang Wei, when he died, and Mitsuhide found his body after the battle and uh, carried him to a burial site. But he sang a Japanese uh, funeral song on the way, and he explained it in English afterward. That was so damn cool. Wait, is this the right way? I, uh, don't know. But no, it's not.
Let's just start going up to do adventure in the jungle. End up killing a man again. Violence uh, never stays far from me, it is seen. I guess some people are cursed with this. But I survive. Oliver Scar. I don't know which way I'm going. Where were you when we needed you, Mr. Ken? Her heart is heavy. I lost a little brother. A Tudi. Someone who so much uh, a promise. But I guess there was no other way. I have to clean up the mess. He knew too much. He could destroy Taipan with his information. I 
Oh, which way am I going? Oh, yes, this way. I wish I knew how to cook these crabs. Good eating. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. One second. I need to get down there, I think, yeah.
up here how many times and I can't remember how to get down. Oh yeah. So if uh, Zhang Wei come tomorrow, we can uh, all meet right here. Sit at, at this table. Thank to you, Mitsuhide. Sleep in peace. No, that's not the way down. Aya. No, no, no. Oh, oh my god. Yusu! No! No, you don't do that in my office. No, you do not bark. No barking. No. No. No barking. Betty, you especially. Your barking is the worst. What do you want, Susu? Can't go outside and go barking. No. Stay here. Stay here. Sit down. Sit. And I've had breakfast in front of me for like two hours already. I haven't eaten it yet. This way. No. <laughs> How the hell do I get off of this fucking castle? Go back around outside, okay. Yeah, there's nothing here. You guys can hear the construction outside, apologies. Yes, here it is. I yeah, my brain.
Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to eat some breakfast while I'm walking over to El Capitan's tent. Sometimes snakes and crabs, they're crawling around, and then all of a sudden they just die. It's kind of funny. I have more than one snake do that. There it is. Day of vacation, I went and got McDonald's breakfast. I say I love McDonald's breakfast. Hamburgers, whatnot, yeah. I mean, they do in a pinch, but breakfast, though. Mm. I think uh, out of the fast food restaurants, McDonald's does breakfast the best. Prove me wrong. Right, this is where Signora Vasquez lived. on his desk. Yeah, this is what he wrote yesterday. Right, so let's, look, let's see if I can... Maybe I can't put it here. Commander of Guarma. Coaching the job. Taipan industry. Purchase goods from Guarma, Malaysia. I.e. example. Rum, fruit, gems, etc. For Saints Crossing. Bring goods from Saint Crossing to Guama as per militia need. 
could be a rifle, ammunition, medicine, whatever, whatever they wish. All goods to be bought and sold at price to be negotiated between the both party. Japan agrees to work only with Vasquez, oh oh, I misspelled his name, fuck, and or rep, and no other party on the island. Breaking this agreement would result if, if punishment deems fit. Fuck. Well, I tell him my English is uh, not so good. Okay. There we go. Okay. See if he finds it. All this cash. A lot of cash. When uh, Ko just killed Mitsuhide, pulled out a hatchet. Because that is what the, the Hong, the Tong, the Bu Hao Doi, what they us usually use, prefer to use hatchets. Oh. Was this like this before? I guess so. All right, time to get upbeat again. A lot of sadness this morning. Kind of wish we could have dragged that scene on a little bit longer, but... I was going to pull out my pistol and just shoot him. Then once he pulled out his... Uh, his, his, his sword and didn't put it away I don't know, that kind of seemed like a cheap trick I wonder if my bow can take out a big in the face. Oh, I got it, okay. It is probably going to kill me.
Oh boy, that was almost gonna break. There's no box here. Could give him the morphine. Should have given it to the doctor. Alright, I'll stop that. Thank you. Uh, eat away you little birdies, after food there. Fucking pigs almost killed me the other day. Is that construction really loud? Can you guys hear it? I can close the window if, you, if, it's, if it's bothering, if you guys can hear it clearly. Boy, it sounds kind of loud to me. No, I don't go this way. Why do I always get lost here? Yeah, okay.
Yeah, Mitsuhide um, giving that uh, scene earlier, Irma scene. I think that kind of clinched it for Ko's future. That was a very selfless act of uh, 893 Shiro. I mean, it was one that Ko was uh, was contemplating. It was probably going to do. He was just trying to figure out. He was trying to get Mitsuhide to say things that would make him angry enough to pull out his gun. <laughs> at the bottom, at the end of the day, the bottom line was he had information that could damn Zhang Wei in Taipan. You wanted to know. Uh -oh. You wanted to know who he talked to about it, etc. Yeah, his answer wasn't um, satisfactory, but it wasn't damning either for Mitsu. Powerful scene, though. That's how... That's how permas should be. Not riding up on somebody, rob, trying to rob, rob them, and okay, then two seconds later, bang, bang. No, that's just stupid. Y'all haven't seen it. Um, you can go back and watch the VOD later. Kurt, I think within the first half hour ish, the first hour at least of this uh, stream. Sad thing was Mitsuhide was his uh, tuti, his uh, student too. So his betrayal, if that's what it was, which Mitsuhide said no, he didn't. So he couldn't use that to uh, put him down. So he was going to hone in on the information that he had about the old grandma who had her throat slit during a battle. Just a Lao Bai Xing. But. Ko is thinking though. And the person who slit this old lady's throat. McMuffin. Hmm. He doesn't like that either. Three dollars. Ah, yeah. Wait, how do I... Okay, well, how do I do that then? How do I... Oh, okay. What? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. story that this uh, Vasquez tell me last night. Look at this destruction of this beautiful town. In a way, perhaps he too is a madman. All of this uh, destruction. To find one other madman. Is it worth it? How many people are left here on the Guama? Not many. So to appease his need for vengeance. And perhaps to do a good thing too. But look. The town is destroyed. If 
button. Towers can be rebuilt, I guess. Free my bird. A good place for him to live. No, I can't. It took me too long. They sell arrows in the gun shop, don't know. You two again. What are you watching here for? What? Oh my god, no arrows, so must have to make it, okay. Sticks, flint, feather. Flint first.
Oh no! How did he do that? He flew away right as I shot him. Let's go get a three flint. And go find bird. Get some sticks. Make some more arrows. I really don't like this uh, little pathway here. Flint.
Oh, they changed the yes, good. So you think? Yeah, these parts suck right here. They really suck. I gotta hug the wall. Not too close. Too close, you might step up at the wall and then just slide right off. And then I uh, get better. Good. more hair pomade while I'm up here. Stick. There Motherfucker, get out of my way! Fucking pigs! I swear to god, they're going to kill me for the these days. Wait for the gun for a bird.
Sometimes there is bird up here on this rock. Not seeing it now. Alright, I'm gonna close the window. But hammering sounds pretty loud. Super crazy little guy. Oh, there you are. Oh, I hit it too. I hit it. What? He ate my arrow. Okay, he's gone. All right, birds. Let's uh, let's see some birds now. Hey Shiro, man, what a scene! What? Really? Shut up. How about that? How's the sound now? Really? Uh, I haven't really adjusted it. I don't think. How about now? Is that better? Better, better? Did it sound okay in the game? How about that? Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing. Turn the game down a little bit. What is Dean though, Mitsu? Uh, when did you realize that you were going to perma? Was it uh, was it that from the beginning? You know, after you saw Ko, you realized... Ko, I mean, it was 50-50 for Ko. If you would have made an argument that waited him one way or another, he might not have done it, but... Um, you know, the whole betrayal thing, that argument you did well at. But the fact that you knew too much information that could damn Zhang Wei or Taipan, that was a problem for him. Yeah. I mean, it's... Oh, there's a bird. Okay, come on. Come on. No, 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 no. no. Come, on. come here. Come here. Hey. To go into the water. Yeah, that was a powerful scene, though. That was, uh... Well, I was... I was close to, um... If, the, if you would have said something that had angered him, he would have pulled out his gun immediately. 
and probably after one or two sentences just shot you. Um, that's what I was planning on doing. But you you kept uh, uh, your arguments though were dissuading him little by little. I kind of thought we were going to go down to the um, to the uh, the fighting ring, fighting arena. That would have been cool. Oh really? Oh, it's it's just it was down the cliff from us, not not too far away. You might be the first person to die on Guarma, though. Really? Last night I checked my VOD for a little bit and it was uh, it was fine. I haven't changed anything. Oh, there we go. I'll check it. I'll check it later. While we were talking? Okay, that's weird. Well, thanks. I'll I'll look into it. See what's see what's the matter here. Pretty soon. Probably gonna stop stream a little bit, and then restart it. I gotta get up, move around. Wait, one more bird. Okay, here we go. Oh shit. Where did it go? Damn it, I lost an arrow. Fuck. Going this way to find one of the uh, pity birds. Of flying birds. Come closer, come closer.
Ja, vor allem unter die Watte. Are you still there? Oh my god, I didn't get any feathers from that bird because I was full up on my space, I had no space. Oh my god, that makes 10? <gasps> I did not know that. Okay. Shit. Wow. All right, yeah, I might uh, take a little nap here, think around my microphone, see what's the matter with it, and then I'll be streaming again a little bit later. Really interesting morning, though. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Thank you for hanging in there. I'm going to play uh, the song here. It's an awesome song. And then I'll be back probably, I don't know, hour. Oh, this song. I love this song. It's a Confidence in Silence by DJ B-E-N-Z. The Rooster.
going to look for someone to raid. Not very good at this, as you can see. Here we go guys, I'm going to go raid to Sara. He's a great RP here. Oh boy. Hey, commercial, go away. <laughs> 